We are back for another aerial tour update at Talon Preserve on Palmer Ranch for June 2022. We've kept this one a little shorter, just 11 and a half minutes, but there's still plenty to see. As promised, we'll be calling out a number of home lots for those who commented in our last video here on YouTube or over on Facebook. Keep your ears and eyes peeled for those. This footage was shot on Thursday evening, June 23rd, 2022. We'll start off with Mossy Pine Court this time. Four of the six four-unit villa buildings are now complete here and closed on, with the fifth almost complete and ready to close as well. The final building there on the left is well underway with tile complete on its roof. We'll turn around and head northwest down Crested Eagle Lane into the sun and wind and get a look at this nearly complete street. A few more homes have closed here and only three remain under construction on this street. So this now looks certain to be the first full street completely built out. You can sort of tell how many homes are left under construction here in phase one by the number of dumpsters left on the street. In these final phases of construction, they try to dedicate one dumpster to each home underway. And once the sidewalks go in, or the neighboring homes are both closed, the dumpsters have to be placed on the street. Counting dumpsters here, it confirms just three homes are left to finish. And now we're off toward the Main Circle intersection and the Amenity Center. Rather than jump into another detailed review of the Amenity Center, we'll just continue our tour of the homes in the community heading up the south end of Eagle Branch Drive. Nothing much has changed here as all four homes have long since closed. But past the Main Circle intersection and up on the center section of Eagle Branch, things continue to develop. Counting dumpsters here, it becomes clear that this section only has two homes left under construction. There was one back there, and now the second. As we did last month, we'll pass Grand Talon Lane on the right, where three new lots have been started in total, but just one dumpster. As we move into phase two, I'll call out a few lots on Winding Pine. There's lot 583, followed by lot 584, and then on the left, lot 851. Continuing north on Eagle Branch, we can see a number of newly started lots and progress moving ahead on ever more lots. So, let's call out some of those lot numbers. Ahead on the right, there's lot 599 and lot 600. Since this was filmed, both have had their roof trusses and plywood completed. To the left across the street, we see the location of the future dog park. Note that the walls are up on the side berms now. Moving on, you can see that more villa buildings are under roof and more Vista series lots are underway. There's the building with lot 872 in it. And that brings us to the construction entrance onto Otteray Avenue. You can see the finished gate there, and in the days since this was filmed, they replaced the wooden fence with the final metal one. Now we'll fly up along Honoré Avenue and do a 180 at the intersection of Honoré and Florida Route 681. You can see the base structure of a new community sign that will let people coming south on Honoré or coming off of I-75 onto 681 know that we are Talon Preserve. We'll continue flying south and get a better look at the newest paved street in the community, Fish Eagle Court. Here you can see that they have quickly moved to pave this street, adding concrete curbs and a layer of oiled gravel since our May video. In the days since this was filmed, they have even added the driving ready layer of asphalt every other street has. Clearly the builder is eager to start selling lots on the street, and I think I know why. We have it on good authority that this street will have entirely scenic series lots and homes. 
just like the east end of Winding Pine. These sized homes are likely to be quite popular going forward. Next, we'll zoom over and head up Little Eagle Loop going north. All of the lots here have started, and all but two are under roof now. Here we have one lot to call out. There's lot 511 on the left. And ahead there on Winding Pine is lot 845, a renowned with pool, quick move-in home listed on DeVos's site. Now we're going to swing around and head down Winding Pine Drive from west to east. All available lots at this end seem to have started, and we're seeing a lot of progress on most of them. As we go along, we do have a few lots to call out here. There on the left at the intersection again is lot 851. Then, past the intersection with Eagle Branch and still on the left, you can see lots 583 and 584 below us. Next, we pass over lot 579 and then 574. I hope I counted right on those. It should be clear that Winding Pine remains the busiest street for construction now, and will likely stay that way for several more months. But it does look like the first few homes are getting very close to completion there. Indeed, some homes in Phase 2 will probably close before the last house is complete in Phase 1. Now we'll zoom out to Phase 3 and the newly developing entrance into the community at Route 681. Coming in here, you see a new entry sign under construction, the street known as Sweet Oak Drive, and a new gated entryway has started construction. The walls on the berms out here are also done and painted now. And street asphalt paving is done and has been for a couple of weeks. We'll make a little turn following Talon Preserve Drive and you'll begin to see the first lots started out here. I'll call a few out, starting with Lot 169 in the distance on Hidden Sawgrass Path and the not yet started Lot 188. Then we can see Lot 358 started on Bald Cypress Way and back to Lot 182 on Talon Preserve Drive with its wood forms in place to define the foundation area. With that, we will turn a bit and head back into Phase 1 on Talon Preserve Drive. A few more homes have been completed and or closed in the past month on this main stretch of Talon Preserve Drive. At this point, at the end of June, by our unofficial count, which is getting harder to pin down, there are now about 110 homes closed across the whole community. Once again, counting dumpsters, it looks like only three homes are left under construction, though one dumpster was removed just days before this was filmed. And there on the left is lot 401, which should be closing soon. Plus, there's the last dumpster. And that brings us finally to the Amenity Center. As we head into the Amenity Center site, we'd like to thank the folks at the HOA and the Builder for hosting a set of Dusty Boots tours of the clubhouse and site on June 13th. A lot of good information came out of those tours. Flying over the clubhouse, we see they've started putting the metal roofing on some sections. Oh, and a quick call out again to lot 169 off on Hidden Sawgrass Path behind the site. Back in the pool area, they've been doing work on the edges of the pool getting ready for tile and edge drains. And they have finally poured the gunite for the splash pad. Now we'll go up to about 290 feet for a top-down overhead view of the entire amenity center site. We can again see the section of the clubhouse roof where the first metal roofing is going on. They've been adding much more since this was filmed. And there's the now infamous dumpster pad. Moving back toward the pool, we can see the area where the outdoor restaurant will go in the near future, probably at least 18 months from now. 
At the pool, we can easily make out the beach entry area, followed by the area for the water feature and wall, and then the splash pad, and finally the spa. Next up, we see the bocce ball courts, which now have their edge coping in, are mostly covered, and await further decking around them. Then we see the pickleball courts that have asphalt surface on and poles for their fencing up. North of the pickleball courts are the tennis courts, which are awaiting their final clay court surfacing. During the tours for residents, the amenity team was still forecasting a quarter one 2023 finish for the clubhouse, pool, and bathhouse, with the sports courts finishing a little earlier. But when it is done, it sounds like it's going to be very nice indeed. To wrap things up, we'll do something a little different. We'll head out into the sunset over the Route 681 entrance so you can get another view of that. Can't wait until this opens, so trips to the beach will be a couple of crucial minutes shorter. And that brings this month's tour to an end. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, there's Mark and Jeff down there.